let's delve a bit more into your achievements. In my last video, I mentioned about what? The imposter syndrome. The wonderful negative feeling that we all have that we don't believe in ourselves, that we're not good enough. And I mentioned at last what? Success stories. Doesn't need to be success stories as such. Any achievements, any accomplishments, and each one of us have many of those. What I noticed though is whomever I coach, whoever is my client, senior level, middle management, professionals who really accomplished lots of lots of success goals, led initiatives, projects. They don't remember it. When I ask them, what is your achievement? What have you done so far? What was really a great outcome? Where did you feel the most satisfied? Where, in which situation did you feel the most fulfilled in your professional life? These are the questions you need to ask yourself to make this wonderful list of your own accolades, of your own accomplishments. And make that list. I mentioned that in my last video. Write it down, black and white. If you want on your computer, doesn't matter. It's just to have a list where you can see how much you have already done. It's not about what we have not done. That's, that's a vision. That's okay. That's a goal where we want to be, where we want to reach. That's good. That's good. But so far you have done lots of, lots of, lots of stuff. Lots of activities, lots of projects. It's a huge list. Write them down. Be proud of yourself. Tap on yourself on your shoulders. And why is this list so handy? Whenever you have a networking meeting where people might ask, oh, so what did you do? Maybe X, Y, Z. You can immediately get out of your pocket this wonderful accomplishment story, right? Very important. And tell. And there in this accomplishment story, please, please, please also mention I. You did something. You did take action. Not we all the time. Okay, you work with a team. I understand. I also worked always with a team. I am working with a team. However, you're the one who led. You're the one who did take a task on hands. So make this crystal clear. And for that, I always call the star model. What was the situation? What was the task you did take on? Could be even to start the communication trail and monitor, observe, measure, and report back to senior level. It doesn't matter. Whatever the task was, what did you take on? And also what action was there and what was the result? Easy, concise, focus. People don't have lots of time, as you know. And the more you practice on these accolades that you have, and had, please, you can use them as well in your performance appraisals or in your interviews. These are very handy, wonderful stories of your success, of your professional life where you feel proud that you did it. So start that list already. That's a challenge. And if you think this was useful, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more and more initiatives, ideas, and nuggets that might help you to advance in your career. It's for you. It's not for me. And moreover, if you want me to cover anything typical, any other topic in the realm of professional life, leadership, first-time manager, communication, networking, please write a comment on my channel and I will certainly read it and we can we can delve into it in the next session. Until next time.